What's up, podcast listeners and viewers? I always do that. I'm your host, Matt Matthews, and this is the Real Talk Podcast, and co-hosting is, again, my best friend, Joey. What up? And today's episode is the one you've been asking for, and we're going to talk about our... Personal shit. We always talk about personal shit. Yeah, but they love the personal shit. Y'all love to be in our damn business. So today we're going to talk we about... We're going to talk about our worst date slash slash hookups. hookups. Because we can't go a podcast episode without throwing some sex in We cannot go without we, sex. We can't. Also, y'all see my nipple? That's a mic. That's a microphone that he just had to put on my fucking titty. So he my is, titty looks like that. He is so pressed about this microphone. Because I got a tumor in my titty. So anyways, just... So you're aware, this titty is fine. This titty has a microphone. So, um, but we're gonna we're gonna dish it. We're gonna dish it. All the dirtiness. So, and typically we don't talk about this kind this kind of stuff. Yeah, I, we really don't. We try to keep our personal lives. We'll throw in some stories, but our personal lives kind of stay personal. I always give my personal. I don't give a damn. Well, if, I, mean I don't me. care what. But they you don't got know me think. as much, so. Yeah, I don't care what y'all think about me. You can either like me or you don't like me. I don't give a fuck. Um, so should we just, I mean, I, I feel like. I feel like you have way more horrible ones than me. I don't know what straw you, you I, drew. I got a lot of bad ones. I know. I don't know what there, straw there you drew. There was a lot of bad eggs. I feel like I have more like mediocre. <laughs> like, not like horrid, but like a lot of mediocre shit. Like mid. It's mid. So, here's the thing. I was a virgin until I was 19. That's because you were in the closet. Because I was in the closet. I thought I was going to go to hell. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody told me I was going to hell if I was gay. So, I tried to like pray the gay away, you know. So don't like. Work. Did, clearly didn't work. Clearly. Um, but I didn't have sex when I was 19 and I was out of high school. Boy, you made up for lost time. And I made up for <laughs> lost times. When I tell you, I remember the first, I remember the night I lost my virginity. Oh, tell. And <gasps> oh, tell. I was. Was it bad? 19. It wasn't bad, was it? It wasn't terrible. I, I didn't have anything to judge it to. Oh, that's right. So. Looking back, was it bad? Yes. It okay. was bad looking back. Okay. So, mind you, I lived in the trailer park. So, I'm on the trailer park on my little date nap because I didn't go out. Right. Like, I was not like a... And you, like, you had just, like, come to terms with, like, how you are and how yes. you feel. So, like, what, are you going to go to the Quest? Yeah. Like, I was not a clubber. You got to get, like, ease into it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel like that's easier with, with an app. So, like, I wasn't a clubber. I wasn't a bar hopper. Like, and I didn't want to go to a club and, like, meet a guy at a bar. That means that this happened while we knew each other. Because it's been a decade. I don't know if we knew each other then or not. We had to. It was like if, fresh 19. I think we met around 20, 21. No. Uh-uh. You, you took pictures of me in like right after I turned 19. Maybe it was right, maybe it was right before. Right. It had to have been right before. Right before. Had to be. No, it was right before. It was right before because I actually wasn't living in the trailer park actually. <gasps> I was still at still, home. Okay. I was still at home, but my dad was dating a woman and they hadn't like gotten together so like we were still living in my at my at my house yeah that he was about to sell but i like basically got to stay there you know like right 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 right, right. So this is before i knew you right so i'm on my little app and this guy like i'm talking to this guy and he's like you're so hot blah 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 and i'm like okay so he's like why don't you come over i'm like okay why not why the fuck why the fuck not <laughs> like why not so, I go over to this guy's house, 30-year-old Matt that is, like, mature and, and knows life right. things 29, now, don't take that away. Would be like, bitch, red flag everywhere. I got there, and he lived at his parents' house in the basement. I mean, you were 19. How old was he? I don't even know. I don't even know. I mean, at 19, you were still living at home, so don't yeah. be judging too hard. Anyway. Well, yeah, but he was older. Okay. Okay. You know, I didn't like new young boys. I like them old. <laughs> um, so I went in and we just like talked for a few minutes, hung out or whatever. And then we like, he's like, oh, why don't you in his, in the basement, mind you, um, why don't you come over and we'll watch a movie? Okay. 
19 year old naive Matt. I'm like, okay. So I go lay on the bed. Bitch, That's the now, oldest trick in the book. The cre- I know this now, but the credits ain't even rolling. Here he is fondling up on me. I said, my God, what is happening? <laughs> what is going on? Was he fine though? No. Is this just like you need to get out of the way? I just need to get out of the way. Yeah. Now okay. he wasn't like he wasn't he like wasn't dog. A troll. He wasn't dog butt ugly. <laughs> I mean, I had to see a little bit of something there, but like I remember he had a beard and chest hair, so I was I was set. Mm-hmm. And so like we're like laying up in the bed, minding our business, and he's like rubbing all up over my two D and CD and everything, and I'm like, damn. I said, if I don't like this man. Let me just do it. Uh huh. First mistake. Okay, so he's like <laughs> kissing and licking all over the things, and he goes downtown, and I'm uh-huh. like, wait a day, a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is, what is happening? <laughs> Y'all have never heard this full story. <laughs> what is happening right now? These are things I've never felt before. I said. I'm losing my mind. I said I'm enjoying it, <laughs> but I'm also concerned. Very concerned. <laughs> like, okay, so it's like just going to town, and then I was like, well, fuck it. I always wanted to suck a dick. Let me suck his <laughs> dick. I didn't know what I was doing, but I was slobbing my knob corn on the cob. Like, I was like, let's just get it. Anyways, we did the did. How have I never heard this whole story? I don't know. It's not. It's not my prized moment. <laughs> it's not one of my prized possessions. Um, it's not a core memory. It's not a core memory <laughs> that I just love to discuss. But fuck it, we're on the Real Talk podcast. Go ahead. So, so y'all get done. So we get done. Mind you, I'm a very big Christian at this point, and I'm I had still? It, and yeah, and it was. Um, Did you go to church after? Oh, I had to go to church the next morning, and I didn't realize. I left his house, got in the car. I feel like I know this is going. I had hickeys all over, not just one or two. I mean, like, I look like. At church? At, at, they were all over me, like, all covered my neck. I looked like I had leprosy or something. And I was like, oh my God. In the church. What am I going to do? So I stop at Walgreens at 12 o'clock at night. And I'm, like, calling my friend on the phone, asking her what kind of makeup to buy. Like, what do I do? Like, what kind of, like, what, it, what is it? Like, what do I put on? And she was like, I don't know, Matt. Like, I don't know that's going to cover that much because that's how bad Did it was. Did you wear a scarf? Bitch, I put a scarf on. <gasps> and I was at church worshiping. Hallelujah. And I had my scarf. After the night before, you finally came out to yourself. You finally did the do. And then you went to church the next morning. Yep. In a scarf. In a scarf. In the summer. It was in the summer, Matt. (laughs) I had my scarf on (laughs) at church in the summertime. I bet you was sweating your balls off. It was a fashion statement to the least. But I tell you what, that opened the demon that was inside of me. (laughs) And And, and thus the hoe was born. And thus the hoe was born. Oh my, I cannot believe I've not heard that. I went on a rampage like no other. That's why you have so many more good stories. Okay, Uh, this is not, this, I was at a date. Okay, so I met this guy one time and he was like, I really want to hang out with you. I really want to meet you. And I'm like, okay. Like we had been like Snapchatting and like, you know, just like texting and stuff. And he was like, but I want to hang out. Like I want like some one-on-one time with you. Like to be able to like really get to know you. And I'm like, okay, yes, this man is beautiful. Be- I'm talking six foot six, talking blonde hair, crystal blue eyes, cut ass jaw. I mean, this man looks like he could bench press me, squat me, deadlift me. I'm like, yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. So he's like stunning, like stunning. And like, like, so he comes over and I cook dinner. I'm like, yeah, I got to cook anyway. I was house sitting for somebody at the time. I was like, hell yeah, I come over to my fucking crib anyway. Wait. Um, is this where I came over? Or is I don't it a different so. time? I think it's a different time. I don't, yeah, I don't think it was. It was, it was right before we went yeah, to dinner. Yeah, one yeah, time. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it was a different time. So, so I'm like, yeah, I've got to cook anyway. So come over, like, we'll eat dinner. Like, we can watch a movie, like, whatever. Because I want to leave the door open. Dinner in the movie is always, if they come into your house, they fucking. 
Oh, right. Okay. Not always. We'll get there. Okay. So make dinner, watching a movie. So we, you know, get closer on the couch and we end up making out and like, he's a great kisser. And I'm like, oh my God. Okay. And I'm like, I remember like, like pulling back and saying, you don't even seem real. Like this man is like Greek God. I'm like, you don't even seem real. He's like, believe it. Like I'm right here. All right. So finally he's like, let's go to the bedroom. I'm like, damn right. You damn right. <laughs> right? Because also I'm like hightailing in my ass down the hallway, right? So he like throws me on the bed, okay? And he gets between my legs and he like comes up to make out with me and then decides to like grind his pelvis like against mine. I said, I can't do this. Where is it? <gasps> I'm like, what is going on? Where is it? It was there. There wasn't a lot there, though. Oh, no. I mean, he really had to put it all, like, he had to really grind on me through clothes for me to feel anything. That's disappointing. I was, I couldn't do it. What did you To this say? day, I don't know what it looks like. I don't even remember how I got out of the situation. I, I could not even, I was like, you cannot take your pants off. I cannot ruin the this homeowners move. are coming home. We gotta go. <laughs> I mean, I can't even remember how I got out of it, but like literally, I'm talking like the most perfect guy. <clears throat> it did wasn't though. <clears throat> I couldn't do it. I literally couldn't do it. And I don't remember how I like I Now what's fucked up? What's fucked up is when these men see this podcast. No way he'll see it. If he does, I'm so sorry. This was so long ago. Like so long ago. Well but yeah. You I'm know, talking like mm, centimeter, Peter. Yeah. Yes. That's a damn shame. But how how does that happen when you're six foot six? Like somebody somebody hates you. Upstairs. Steroids. No, that that I thought that was your it's just your balls. Oh. I don't think it's your penis. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. That's disappointing. It was awful. That's terrifying, actually. I was like, I'll still make out with you. But don't pull your tack out. Please don't. Way. Don't pull your tic tac out. Please don't. Oh my god. <laughs> it was terrible. Oh no no no. I don't even know if I could pity fuck that. Well, one time I hooked up with a state trooper. Did you get out of a ticket? Yeah. <laughs> you are lying. I got out of a ticket. I know you did not throw your pussy around to get out of a ticket. I did, and I will do it again. <laughs> How did that unfold? Tell me. Because, let tell me, me just tell y'all. Number one, I didn't want no ticket because I already had like three more and I was going to have to go to driver school. So, I had to do something. Anyways, so I'm driving down the intro state, speeding as usual. As per usual. And I get pulled over. And, God, I hope my dad doesn't watch this episode. Oh, shit. Shit. Don, turn the TV off. Dad. I have to tell he you not to watch all of them. He will watch And he it. watched the first episode. He gonna watch it. He watched it. And hey, after Don. I told him, Dad, please don't watch this episode, he watched it anyways. He called me, who's pissing in your puss? I said, get off of my phone. I'm blocking you. <laughs> I'm blocking you. That's it. So. You're done. You're done. <laughs> um, so I'm driving down the interstate and I'm speeding and I, I get pulled over. Right. I'm like, damn. Bitch. Here we go you again. You stay getting pulled. Slow your ass the fuck down. Got pulled over. This man gets out of his car. He's fine, ain't he? He is so fine. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. You. Take it. I took it. Boom. I took it. I took it. Dick. <laughs> so, he was so, so fine. Gets out. I mean, like, ripped. Oh. Just like you just talked about, Greek God, like Perfect. so fine. Mm -hmm. In his uniform, state the trooper hat. hat. Ooh, hat. Oh Ooh. my God. And he comes up to my window. I roll it down. I said, God, be with me. I was prepared for reckless driving. Oh, yeah, right. Because I was going like 80. So he said, uh, You know why I pulled you over? Hopefully for my number. I said, Because I'm cute. <laughs> He said, 
And he just looked at me. And I said, damn, I guess that wasn't the answer. <laughs> so he said, well, you were speeding. I said, oh, about that. So he says, um, you got your license and insurance. Of course, here you go. He walks back to his car. And he comes back, to the, comes back to the car about 10 minutes later, and he's like, knocks on the window, and I said, roll the window down. I said, hello, officer. How are we doing? <laughs> you know, like, I'm trying all the things. And um, he's like, so, you ever had a ticket before? I lied. I said, mm-mm. Mm-mm. He's like, well, today's your lucky day. You know, praise God. I said, fuck. I said, oh, he was saying you're going to get one? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. And he said... So, he was like, right, he had already, like, you know, started mm-hmm. to write it. Like, he had, I mean, right. he didn't finish it. He came back to my car and then was going back to finish the ticket. And, um, it's like he was, like, trying to interrogate me or whatever. But I said, officer, is there anything I can do to get out of this ticket? I straight up pornoed it. You know how they do in the pornos? Is there anything I can do, officer? That's what I did. I was like, is there anything I can do to not get this ticket? You Look. are so embarrassing. I said, for real, I cannot have a ticket. I can't. My dad will kill me. Like, my insurance going to go up. I'm Please broke. Don't. Like, I cannot have a ticket. I said, is there anything? I'll do anything. And he said, I can think of something. Just like that. Just like that. I can think of something. I said, what is it? What is it? What you want? Shut up. On the side of the interstate. Shut up. I said, what is it? What you want? He said, he, he went back to his car, came back with a piece of paper. I said, fuck, I still got a damn ticket. And it wasn't a ticket. It was his number. And he said, you meet me tonight. It wasn't like a point I didn't fuck him on his car. But he was like, you meet me tonight here. It was his house. And he was like, you didn't get pulled over today. I said, I you went to his house. I went to his house. Oh, my, oh God. my God. I went to his house. Oh, my. I pulled up. I would have went to his house. I pulled up and. I would actually, there wouldn't have been going to the house. I'd have been like, get in this fucking car. I went to his house. He had his state trooper vehicle outside. I walked in. He had his fucking canine units. The dogs. Oh, yeah, the dogs. Yes. They were in the house. Into the bedroom I went. And it was the worst sex of my life. No. It was terrible. God. Was he closeted? Awful, yes. Okay, that's why. It was awful. Like, absolutely terrible. You threw that pussy around to not get a ticket. And I didn't get a ticket. You would do it again, too. And I would. (laughs) But it was not good. But he was so fine. And I remember sending Why a picture. Why is it the hottest one? I don't know. God, it's fr- that's frustrating. It's because I think they, they feel like they look so good so they don't have to perform. You a lie. The put devil a is show. a lie. I need you to put on a show. I don't care how good you look. So my I remember sending my picture to my aunt of like him and his body. Because you know he was in the shower and I was like, click, click. And I, you sent, have proof. I sent it to my aunt. He went finna fuck me up. Baby, you want to fuck me up? I got proof. If you ever try to take me down, you're going down too. I hope he's watching. So, if you're watching this, State Trooper, you sucked. <gasps> um, but I sent it to my aunt. Right. And my aunt, you know, she was a, she was a special needs teacher. Mm-hmm. Or autistic. Right. Whatever, at the elementary school. She taught special needs kids. And uh, she said, she just showed it around to all her teachers. She said, my nephew's fucking hotter guys than I am. I said, now you're trying to get me caught. Uh, arrested. Now I'm trying to get, you're trying to get me arrested. So, moral of the story, men shoot, in uniform. Shoot your shot with them. Shoot you your might, shot. You might get, get out of a ticket. You might get arrested. Keep your expectations low because you, that is a, that is a crime. You might get arrested. But sometimes you may get a really What's the statute one. of limitations? I don't know. I hope you ain't gonna get arrested. It never happened. It was hypothetical. I didn't tell nobody no no names. I was like 21. It's been a long time. And the shit sucked anyways. Sucked. He gonna be mad? I don't give a fuck. Anyways. Anyways. Is it my turn? It's your turn. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, but I have to get so personal. You ain't got to say names. I mean, I know I don't have to say names, but I don't have any as good as you. What about the time the, the, the guy that you dated wanted, wanted to wear the animal butt plugs? 
Do I have that? <laughs> Do I, the animal butt plug. Did it so and so so and so? Okay. <laughs> no, not not him. Oh. Okay, so the viewers want the juice. All right. So I went on a date with this guy. I hate you for this. That wanted me to act like a child. Like in diapers. Like in a diaper? Yeah. Oh, hell no. What about a pacifier? Yeah. Like with a bottle. Onesie. Did you do it though? No. I couldn't. I couldn't. I mean, like, you can wear a bodysuit, like, okay, but I'm like, if you come near me with that fucking passy. Goo goo ga ga. <laughs> literally. I mean, the whole nine. The whole nine. Like, how do you have sex? Like, wanted to watch cartoons. Why well, you had sex? I, I, I did watch Disney while doing it, so. You're a pedophile. No, I didn't. I didn't dress up. You're a pedophile. No, I did watch Disney, so. Tez is losing his mind says, over here. Shut the fuck up with your rocket power looking ass. I'm a pedophile, huh? That sure fucking leads into a story. Okay, you? now you know what? I didn't know that until I Googled. And I ended it right when it happened. I dated this one guy one time and I found out he was a pedophile from seeing his mugshot in the gas station. You cannot just speed past. You're not going to speed past that like you didn't say what the fuck you just said. I, something told me to, to Google this guy that I was dating at the time. Mm -hmm. now, and I really liked him. And see, I was about to say. I really, were, really liked there him. There were no red flags. No, I really liked him. Everybody liked him. Yeah. My whole family loved that him. That should have been a red flag. My whole family loved him. I really liked the him. The fact that we all loved him should have been a red you flag. You liked him. Like, everybody I don't like nobody. liked him. Really great guy. Land, did landscaping. Like, macho man. You know, like, totally my type. So something told me, my gut, it got me, girl. It said, Google his ass. So I Googled it. Bingo. Well, at first I saw the picture in the gas station. And I said, what the fuck? Like the most wanted. You know, I was like, what the fuck? But it doesn't say charges on there, does no. it? No. So I Googled yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. And he, was, he wasn't most wanted. It wasn't most wanted. But it it's was, like. It was child-related felonies. He had been arrested. Uh -oh. Yes. He had been arrested for child-related felonies. Okay. So he didn't actually like assault anybody. Right, right, right. Or like right, right. actually I don't think he actually did anything. Right. I don't that but I But that's know just like of. you can you can pee it on a playground and yeah. yeah. So but immediately, immediately Immediately no. I went straight to that house and I showed my ass. What how what did he say? Just know what you think it is. So what you think it is. Let me I you ain't gotta explain shit to me, perverts. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, look, look, pervert, John Wayne Gacy, John, don't explain nothing to me. You need to shut the fuck up. Don't touch me. I believe I punched him in the face, actually. No, you didn't. Um, uh, uh, no, you didn't. And that was like my, that was my first love. It really was. That was the first guy I ever loved. Yeah, it really was. And so, like, it was not good. I can't believe that you actually have that story. But, but I mean, know, technically, I mean, but, he, he went to jail, right? Oh, he went to prison. Yeah, I like legit, he's legit. And he's actually in prison now. Oh, so he's not doing the podcast. Because, uh... Again? Yeah, he's in prison now. Same because thing? Because he... Probate, he was on probation or whatever. Violation? He violated it. I bet he was messing with some young folks. I'm not going to say bad names on here so YouTube don't block my video, but... He was fucking up some fucked up shit. So, um, yeah. So Joey, yeah. you wanna play a game? I love a game. I love a game. What, what game are we playing? Play. Smash or pass? Oh, I'm here. I'm here for it. Okay, but are we gonna do like we can't do people we know because you guys have to play with us. You gotta like you can judge us, right? They can judge us for this. Sure. I mean, based on what we like, you know. Yeah. So, we do celebrities. Celebrities smash or pass. But, let's do male and female. Okay. Because that'll be funny. 
There's not many females that I would say. I know, sexy. but I know some you would. Okay, let's do it. Okay, you gonna go first or me to first? You go first. Okay, first up, let's go for let's go for an easy one. Okay, Ryan Reynolds. Oh, baby, I would smash the hell out of him. Smash. I'm talking about I would climb him like a tree. Smash. Okay. Patrick Dempsey. Oh, it's a smash all day. It's a smash yesterday and tomorrow. <laughs> Mick Dreamy. He can make Dreamy this. Young Patrick Dempsey or old Patrick Dempsey? Both. Together. Oh my God. You're, a You're a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> You're a hoe. You get too easy. You gotta get like Oprah Winfrey for uh, all, her, all her money. <laughs> okay, okay. And we're about to Tess make this more been interesting. Back in the podcast. We're gonna make it more interesting. Tez is behind the scenes. But he's going to help us out. Okay, so. Chris Hemsworth. But he has a one-inch penis. Smash or pass? Damn, one inch, I ain't going to feel nothing. So I'm going to have to pass. I'd cry. You already said you're, what you would do. Because you, you didn't have sex with your centimeter, Peter. And he was perfect. But if it's only an inch, you could look at like a clip, right? <laughs> I ain't never looked at clips, so I don't know. You can give the other guy the opportunity. <laughs> okay. 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 Rosie O'Donnell. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> but Pass. he gives you a million dollars. I'm smashing the fuck out of that. <laughs> We're smashing. We're Rosie scissoring. Rosie said, wait a minute. It's time. It's time. <laughs> too much. You got We're, to go 200. Uh -uh. 200 Rosie O'Donnell. Two hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand. She's smashing. <laughs> She's smashing. We probably still smash. Yeah. <laughs> he said, "Wait a minute. Wait a minute." <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's just do a random one. Lana Del Rey. I couldn't. I love. I'm obsessed with Lana. You know this. But I could not. I don't know. I truly do not know. It what doesn't if, matter how beautiful what you if, are. What if you put it in their butt? I don't think I could do it. Hmm. Hmm. Cardi B. I would smash it all day. <laughs> you cannot. I mean, you cannot give Cardi, Cardi B is beautiful. You. I don't know. She's a bad bitch. She's hysterical. It, I don't care if she was not beautiful. Like, she would be so much fun. She probably is a... Oh, she's a Boy, freak. she into some crazy shit. She's a freak. I'd be like, take me on a ride. I'd be like, I don't know I that I want to ride could, the crazy train, I please. don't know that I can do it, but teach me what you know. I... 100%. Yeah. 100%. I'd try, but I don't know that it would work. Okay. Uh... Wait. Wait. Okay. You know... I don't know that my equipment would work, but like, I mean, you can use your hands and mouth and stuff. Yeah. So like, I mean, I guess that works. I can try that. For Cardi, though. You're telling I me. I would try. For Cardi, you'd try. I would try. I didn't say it would work. Is there anybody out for there? For Lana, I would, I would try. But I don't know. I already, I know who you would really try for. Who you know? Say it. Carrie. Carrie Underwood. I would try. Carrie. <laughs> I would try. You'd be like, you'd be giving one of them like, hold your nose for you. Like, just in case something smells, because I can't. You couldn't if, do it. If something smells, baby, I'm out. <laughs> you would be like, goggles. He put some goggles in that hoe. He'd have goggles on. He'd be like, I'm doing it. I'm platinum star. You are. I'm platinum. I knew Carrie would happen. You would yeah. give it, you'd give it to college try. I would give it to college try. Yeah. For Carrie Underwood, I would give it to college try. You, what, if, what if you could just put it in her butt? I would, I would try. I feel like it would be easier in the vag, though. I feel like you wouldn't know what to do. I wouldn't. I'd be like, which hole is it? Ma'am? Ma'am? <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, where do I go? Can you, where do I go from here? Can you help me with my direction? Can you help me here? I'm lost. Just grab it. <laughs> <laughs> grab it and put it where you want it. Put, put it where I need to go. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Mm, Nelly. Smash. Smash. All day. All day. Oh. Wait, I don't know what Nelly looks like nowadays. I'm thinking Fine. of like old school Nelly. Fine. Fine one. Mm, Nelly. Yeah. Mm. I don't wonder if you'll know who this is. You should. Idris Elba. 
I don't know who the fuck that is. Idris Elba? Uh, the uh, black 007? Uh, the guy who played on... Uh, Luther? Uh, got a gatekeeper. Never watched it. Yeah, Hold on, we gotta pull up pictures. Idris Elba. It's, I thought it was Idris. Idris, y'all know who I'm talking about. Yeah, Idris. Let me Martez think. is coming on Idris. screen, probably. We're gonna help you out. Absolutely. Uh, he's British. Idris could have it. He's he's British. I would fuck the British out of him. No, keep the British. That too. Oh my god. It was just Okay. I was wondering if you'd know who he was. I, was like, I knew oh. who he was when I saw him, but I didn't know who he was. Okay, that's that's who it is now. Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler pass. Oh he's funny. I'd probably pass. smash. I'd probably smash. You would smash anything if it walks. Uh, I said what I said. China. China? She was a man. What? No. Absolutely (laughs) not. Absolutely the fuck not. However, my little gay ass was obsessed with China when I was little. (laughs) In 1998, in 1998, when China hit the scene in WWE, WWF, let me tell you something, I was a World Wrestling Federation fanatic. When China came out there, don't shoot me like a woman. Don't shoot me like a man. I'm just spitting everywhere. And she would just be like, I'd be like, love that bitch. You go, girl. And when she retired, I cried. I had her workout videos on VHS. Oh, God. She was my idol. I <laughs> but you wouldn't China. smash it. I wouldn't fuck her, but I, she was my idol. I loved her. Loved her. I remember I remember vividly my uncle had the Playboy that she was in. She did Playboy. Did you look at it? And I looked at it because I was like, oh, my God, I love China. And I looked at it. Nothing. I was just like, she looks really pretty. Like. Somebody should have known then. Like, I mean, Come what the on. fuck? Yeah, I remember uh, that. That was that was the good days. You about killed me. You made my jaw hurt on that one. No, I never wanted Matt Hardy either. W no, I wanted Jeff Hardy. Jeff. When I was like in the fifth grade, I wanted Jeff Hardy. I don't know why I had the biggest crush on Jeff Hardy. I thought he was so fine. Smash or pass. John Stamos. John Stamos. Uncle Jesse could get it. <laughs> all day. Uncle Jesse, all day. All night. I every- feel like that's when you probably is submitted and you that I'm gay. No. I Who figured out I was gay. Who was the first that you looked at and you were like, I think I'm gay? Ben from Growing Pains. What? Mm-hmm. Not only Jesse, he wasn't first. Ben, Growing Pains was number one for me. So if y'all watched Growing Pains, early 90s, I think that was early 90s, but I used to, I watched Ben on Growing Pains and I thought he was so fine. Like, I remember vividly being like, oh, my gosh. Julie, who's your straight person? And she saw him, he was like, I know, I'm straight. Brad Pitt, an interview with the vampire. Mine was Penny. Penny? It, okay, Off now, I will say. <laughs> Off a good time. I was in love with Penny, bro. I, I will say, like, okay, Brad Pitt that most people will think of when I say Brad Pitt is not what I'm picturing because mm-hmm. Interview with the Vampire was my favorite movie in the whole world. Like, at, like, three, and that's a problem. That's why I'm fucked up in the head. Um, but he was, like, super pale, super long brown hair. Not like the golden boy Brad Pitt. But, yeah, Brad Pitt. I was like, yeah. At, at three, I'm like, at, I mean, there was You should have known you was a whore. I should have known way back then. Well, there we go. Smash or pass? Comment below and tell us what you think. I still or- smash Brad Pitt at every stage. You have me. Absolutely the fuck not. Absolutely not. Hugh Hefner? Even I'll pass. If I pass, it's bad. Ain't he dead? Yeah, he died. No, thank you. He can keep the mansion. I'm good. Smash or pass. All right. There you have it. That was another episode of the Real Talk Podcast. Our worst hookup stories and smash or pass. Comment below. Tell us if you agree what you think. Otherwise, yeah, yeah, tell us your worst hookup story. Yeah, we need your worst hookup stories. Please make them worse than my centimeter, Peter, please. Worse than my state trooper. If you're not already, make sure that you hit that subscription button below. Subscribe to the Real Talk podcast right here on YouTube, and we will catch you at the next episode.
Bye.